Okay, here we are again. We're going to do some more Dutch oven cooking today. I've kicked off the fire. Just the usual story. I've got my little uh, charcoal briquettes there. And just let that, I'm going to let that burn down a little bit. And uh, I've got my extra little stones here. You could use bricks. And I just use them to stabilise the Dutch oven whilst it's sitting on top of the coals. Give it a little bit of extra height over and above the uh, the small legs that they've got. So let's have a quick look at what we're going to cook. And here's a Dutch oven. <clears throat> I've just uh, greased this today. As you can see it shines just a wee tiny bit there. So I just give it a little bit of uh, sunflower oil rub around just to keep it keep the surface sort of supple. And we've got a recipe today that is basically barbecue chicken. And uh, the idea being, I've read about this on uh, two of the uh, the US websites. And um, all it involves is you've got a bit of chicken. You've got the barbecue sauce here. I'm just using the HP stuff. A couple of bottles of that, which we're going to stick in with some uh, some water. And uh, the other ingredient, which I'm just going to get in a minute, is uh, Coca-Cola. So for some reason this seems to work. And what I'm going to do today is uh, broil that up here in this little pot and see, see if it turns out as good as everyone says. Okay, I'll catch you later. Okay, welcome back to part two of the barbecue chicken here. We've uh, cut up the chicken slices here, just half through these breast uh, segments just slightly. I want to keep them chunky. And uh, incidentally, I used the uh, the Mora knife here, which I can highly recommend for uh, bushcraft stuff and all these types of things. It's nice and sharp, nice little carbon blade there. So I always keep this handy. And uh, so we've got that. We're going to add in the barbecue sauce and uh, see how this goes. It's looking very good. Let's have a look. So what we got here, just add in plenty of the barbecue sauce. I'm going to be really liberal with this. Stick it all in there. And uh, got an extra second bottle here in case I need it. And uh, just give this a little bit of a, a little bit of a mix round just to get it covered. I've always got extra sauce here anyway. I'm going to add a little bit of water and Coca-Cola to this and see if it, uh, just to keep it nice and uh, hydrated during the cooking. We don't want it, we don't want it burning and getting stuck to the bottom here on the pan if we can help it. Okay, so we're back here in the next part of our uh, Dutch oven cooking here with the chicken, the barbecue sauce and the Coke. I'm just adding a little bit of Coke here. They say it works, makes it taste real good, so we'll find out soon enough. We'll get that in there. I guess I've put in about, not quite a full pint here, but near enough. Probably about three quarters of a pint or 400 millilitres here, and I'm using three chicken breasts chopped in half. And in the HP sauce that we used earlier on, the barbecue sauce, I've only used one bottle and a little bit out of another bottle. So I would say if you're doing six to eight chicken breasts, I reckon you just double up on all the ingredients there. Use two bottles of uh, HP sauce and probably near enough a, a litre of Coke would do it. But we're doing about half that today. So that's good. As you can see here, we're going to use a few charcoals on the top just to give it a little bit of extra heat in there. I haven't got a massively big fire. Don't really need it huge. That'll probably be adequate to slow cook this away for the next couple of hours, maybe a bit less, maybe about an hour and a half, I would say. And we'll see how it turns out. And I'm going to check it probably about every half an hour to an hour just to see how it's looking. And if it's reducing too much, I'll add some more water or uh, coke or whatever just to give it a little bit more moisture. So we'll get this back on the uh, back on the fire. Notice here I'm using an oven mitt to lift this. Uh, lid because it will be hot and uh, 
you could use tongs or some other stick just for safety and we'll get that back on and cooking away for the next little while thank you hi folks we are back here with our uh, Dutch oven again I'm just gonna have a quick check see how it's getting along and uh, I just check it about every 15 minutes or so just to make sure the uh, the food isn't sticking too much to the bottom of the pot, you know, and whether I need to add any more fluid or anything. So we'll take a quick look. Again, hot here, so I'm using the, uh, using that, because that is boiling hot. And what have we got here? So we've got our chicken cooking away nicely in this uh, barbecue sauce with the extra coke added in. A um, couple of things about the food here. The first is, when you cook in a Dutch oven, there are uh, never any leftovers. Everybody always eats down what's available and asks for more. So this is looking pretty good here. I'm going to give it a quick stir and just uh, just see how it's going. Another quick look at one of the pieces of meat here. As you can see, that is glazed over nicely. It's uh, starting to take the sauce, almost like a marinade. And uh, looking very tender. Everything that comes out of the Dutch oven is always tender and tasty so uh, that's looking pretty good there no sticking looking good so we'll give that a bit longer and I'll catch you later so that's us back here with the Dutch oven we've uh, whacked some chicken in here with the HP barbecue sauce uh, kind of ironic this is uh, made in the Netherlands <laughs> and uh, we've stuck it in the Dutch oven so what better place to put it last time I had a little look the chicken was looking amazing so we'll have another little look again and see where we're at what we got here right and boiling away real good there and uh, what I'm going to do is just make sure that isn't sticking too much the uh, the sauce has reduced quite nicely and the chicken, if we have a look here, is absolutely glistening with this lovely sauce. The sauce as it's been boiling away in here has basically embedded itself into the surface of the chicken and uh, created a really really wonderful marinade. Absolutely fantastic and I can bet my last, last dollar that that's nice and tender. So what we'll do now is a quick taste test, just very quickly, and uh, I'll take a smallish piece. Let's have a look for a smallish piece. Oh, that's just that's just breaking up. Fantastic. So very tender there, as you see, the meat's just falling apart. That's what we got. That's what we got to taste test. So let's have a quick try of that see where we're at mmm now that is awesome so all I can say is Dutch oven chicken barbecue sauce this HP wood smoke one very good we're definitely doing this again thank you so that's us finished for the day with our uh, chicken and the barbecue sauce. Have another quick look. There we are. Boiling away nicely there. I done a quick taste test a moment ago. It's absolutely perfect. Chicken is tender. Barbecue sa sauce is uh, beautiful. It's reduced lovely. Lovely marinade on the chicken. And. Uh, this has only took about 45 minutes to cook, which is pretty good, pretty quick and versatile, and uh, didn't need much. So, uh, yeah, another Dutch oven su success. Thanks for watching, folks. Any questions? Just email email me on uh, YouTube, and I'll uh, answer any questions you got. Thank you.